Indian state Goa is mostly referred to as the beach state of the country. There are numerous ways with which Goa attracts thousands of visitors across the globe every year. First, with its scenic beaches and serene nature. Next, attractive features are adventure-packed water sports, fun-filled beach activities and exciting nightlife. Then comes its delicious cuisine and colorful roadside markets. The best time to visit Goa is from October to March. During this time, December to February is the peak season here because Goa is also known for its hot and humid weather. So, to enjoy the fun activities, winter here is the best time. But do remember that charges are also quite high in this time. To book this tour package, please contact at the number given in the description box below. Goa is divided into two main parts, North and South Goa. Here, we will start our tour from North Goa and after that, we will visit South Goa. From Goa Airport or Railway Station, you will get to bed taxis, prepaid taxis or local cabs to reach your destination. Goa may be popular for its beaches, but you can also feel its uniqueness in the narrow, twisty roads of the place. Following the trail of one typical Goan road that passes through greeneries, we went for around 15 minutes. At the end of this road, there is Ashwem Beach. In all the Goa beaches, you will find ample space for car parking. We parked our car here, then walked to the beach. The long stretch of silky white sand beach lay on the north of the capital city Panaji. This is one of the best kept secrets of North Goa, tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the prime North Goa beaches. It is one of the rare places in North Goa where you can enjoy the real beauty of pristine Arabian Sea. The beach extends from the northern banks of Chapora River to the Aquarium Beach. It may be a secluded beach, still you can find some beach shacks here. Much less in number than in the popular ones. Enjoy swimming and sunbathing here. Or simply take a stroll to the silky soft beach and relax for some time. Now it's time to move towards our next destination, Anjuna Beach. About 40 minutes drive away from Ashwem Beach, there is the 2 km long stretch of Anjuna Beach. The beach is a gem among Goa beaches, where you can spend some quiet time with your family or you may spend an adventure-packed weekend with your buddies. Both are possible here. The southern side of this beach includes rocky lands. This side of the beach is relatively less crowded and quiet in nature. At the northern end, you will mostly find the water sports activities like jet skiing, banana boat ride, parasailing, etc. The famous eateries of Anjuna Beach and the beach shacks are also located at the northern end. Another interesting feature of this beach is its flea market. The shops here sell colorful clothes, junk jewelries, handmade bags and local crafts for room decoration. Anytime you can satisfy your shopping spree from here. And you will gain most of the time if you are a bargaining expert. Photo <laughs> One eighty. What is ka? Is ka is ka? Is ka one eighty. Sub one eighty. Kitne mein chahiye? Just fifteen minutes away from Anjuna Beach Flea Market, you will find another sea beach of Goa. It's Baga Beach. It is one of the most happening beaches of Goa. From the entrance of the beach, you can feel this vibe. The constant calling from the roadside garment stalls and coconut water sellers will instantly lift your spirit up.
Most of the people here were busy enjoying adventure water sports. Once you are done here, it's time for Kalangute Beach, which is located just by the side of Baga Beach. Appearance wise, Kalangute looks exactly like Baga Beach. However, this is much bigger and busier than the earlier one. Starting from the tattoo parlors to other local entertaining facilities, you will get everything at the entrance of the beach. The brightly decorated beach is correctly termed as the queen of the beaches in Goa. Numerous beach shacks and large crowd are the specialty here. Don't miss the famous water sports adventure at this place. Do taste the local delicacies at the beachside eateries here. After all this busy beach experience, we went towards Port Aguada. Port Aguada is a 17th century Portuguese port and lighthouse. At present, it is maintained by the Archaeological Survey of India as a monument of national importance. The massive structure is divided into two parts, the upper and lower fort areas. The prime attraction of the upper fort is the four-story lighthouse situated at the topmost part. A walk along the fort wall here can be refreshing with a gorgeous view of the confluence of Mandovi River and the Arabian Sea at the base of the fort. From the lower part of the fort, you will enjoy the beauty of Synquarium Beach. The place is ideal for witnessing the sunset over the Arabian Sea. After a day filled with beach adventures, fun activities and so-called Goa vibes, now it's time to peek into Goa's rich cultural heritage. It's time to visit South Goa. From North Goa, it's around one to one and a half hours drive. It is a calm and quiet road with greeneries on both sides. You will encounter traditional Portuguese style houses on the side of this road. En route, visit Fontenhas. It is an old Latin quarter. It was founded in the 18th century when Goa was under Portuguese rule. At that time, headquarter of the Portuguese administration was at Panjim. The appearance of South Goa beaches are slightly different from that of North Goa beaches. You can see it as soon as you step on the Candolim beach. The entrance here is decorated with lots of trees. Unlike its fellow North Goa beaches, this is less crowded and quiet in nature, ideal for relaxing. A unique feature of this beach is you can go for a dolphin adventure trip from this beach. A boat ride to the Arabian Sea is adventurous as well as relaxing. Our next destination was Dona Paula Beach. The road to the beach passes through a bustling market filled with colourful goodies. 
द रॉकी बीच ऑफर्स अ सीरीन व्यू ऑफ द कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ जुआरी एंड मांडवी रिवर विद द अरेबियन सी द पाम ट्रीज एट द बैक ऑफ द बीच and the view of the Mormugao harbor at a distance make this place even more attractive about half an hour drive from dona paula beach there is basilica of bom jesus church while moving towards this church first stop for a while to visit the archbishop's home next stop at our lady of the immaculate conception church a beautiful chapel on the hillside overlooking the state capital panaji the basilica of bom jesus is a pilgrimage center as well as an iconic monument of war that reminds us about the past glory of the place the site is recognized by unesco as a world heritage site and the church holds the mortal remains of saint francis xavier the architectural brilliance of the place needs a special mention Just opposite the Basilica of Bom Jesus Church stands Se Cathedral another beautiful as well as important church of Goa and a part of world heritage site The prime attraction here is the bell tower consisting of the golden bell end your day tour by visiting kolva beach kolva is more crowded than kandolim beach still it is not as busy as the north goa beaches here you will find several local people selling handmade goodies on the sea beach most people enjoy water sports activity at this place Nothing is more relaxing than walking on the quiet sea beach in the morning. The nature is fresh and even more beautiful at this time of the day. It's time to enjoy the sea, the sun and the serene environment of the Arambol beach. Early in the morning, all the beach shacks here were mostly empty. We saw some fishermen getting ready for their day. Few people were bathing, some were engaged in regular exercise on the beach. As the day progresses you will encounter more people on the beach they came here to enjoy the sea to take part in water sports there is a surf school at this place so if you are interested you can even try surfing you can have your breakfast here at any one of the beachside restaurants they serve local as well as continental breakfast all are delicious a little distance away from the beach there is a fresh water lake in arambol generally people come here to take bath Say Tamil's large greeneries this is a good place to visit Around 20 minutes drive away from Arambol beach there is Querem beach also called Keri beach in the local town It is a relatively secluded sea beach where you will find only few people The 2 km long golden sand beach is dotted with huge rocks and has palm and other trees as its backdrop. You can enjoy paragliding here. The beachside restaurants here offers delicious local cuisine. 
If you have time then do taste the traditional Goan fish fry here. You can even enjoy your lunch at one of these restaurants. At the time of sunset, take a river cruise on Mandovi River. After the sundown, the riverside looks gorgeous with sparkling lights of the city, which are visible at a distance. There were other cruise ships sailing on the river, all are brightly lighted up. You can hear the music and local songs from all the ships. This cruise ship party is the best place to feel the real party vibes of Goa with your family. Additionally, you can see the live performances of the local performers here. At night, the markets of Goa are the best places to roam around. See the shops filled with traditional local goods and of course, don't forget to collect some mementos from here. With its rich cultural heritage and adventurous as well as fun-loving nature, Goa will leave a permanent mark on your memory. If you love this tour plan, then please like and share the video. Also, do let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Your opinion means a lot to us. Thanks for watching it.